This is Coach Lee, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the stages of getting back together with an ex after a breakup. Take a quick second, click the subscribe button below so you can be notified when I have more videos about relationship dynamics, mindfulness, breakups, limerence, and other topics that will help you in life. Some of this information will be pulled from other videos of mine, but there will be some new wrinkles that will probably interest you and help you to get a grasp of what's going on and what needs to go on as hopefully you're in the process of getting your ex back. And that means that you have applied the no contact rule after your ex has broken up with you. And this is an important part that a lot of people neglect simply because you are experiencing loss at such traumatic and extreme levels that you don't even want the idea to enter your head that you need to actually reflect and review this relationship to see if you even want it back. And for some of you, even me saying that, because it suggests that the relationship might not rekindle at even your own hand, it's repulsive and you don't want to think about it. And I get that. But what if I told you that in an interesting wrinkle, you asking yourself that question and really digging to find the answer can help you get your ex back. So that's really what needs to happen from your end while you're using the no contact rule. You're not contacting your ex. And a lot of people will say, well, I don't want to play games. Can't we just be mature adults and talk about this? Well, that's kind of the whole point. You have been banished by this person. They wanted to break up with you. They ended the relationship. It's not up for conversation. You don't just talk it through. They don't want the relationship right now. They don't want to work on it because Attraction, emotionally speaking, has fallen so much that they are not interested, they're not motivated in working on it. The things that they have said to you, like that they will love you forever, they've never felt this way before, those things are irrelevant now. They don't feel them anymore, they don't think them anymore, and they don't want them anymore. And that's very difficult for you to accept because you're feeling lost and you feel like you have been stabbed in the back, like the rug has been yanked out from under you. And it makes no sense. That makes it even more difficult. It hurts. It's confusing. And so you just become desperate in many ways and grasp at straws. And that's the worst thing that you could do. But ideally during no contact, you would be reflecting on the relationship and trying to decide if you want the relationship back. Let's assume that you do. At that point, when you realize that you still must continue to let your ex come back to you. You must let your ex learn some things because if your ex was just confused and they think that there's a different future for them and they're concerned about interactions they have with you, how they feel about you and what their future holds, there's all kinds of things that can cause this drop in emotional attraction. And your ex has to learn your place because if you two get back together before they have learned that, then they're going to have buyer's remorse. They're going to actually interact with you when they don't feel such intensity. They don't feel such commitment. They don't feel the desire to be there and the attraction and motivation. And so it's a negative interaction. And so you're actually going to hurt your long-term future with them if you get back together too soon with them. And that's especially true if they reach out to you and you seem more excited about it than they do. That is dangerous to your future with your ex. And so... During this journey that the two of you are taking, where hopefully they are learning this lesson, they are missing you, they're reflecting on the relationship and they're realizing that you're strong and they could lose you. That's where what we're expecting to happen is that your ex will realize the breakup was a mistake. At least they will be entertaining the idea and they will be concerned that the breakup was a mistake. At that point, it's really when you are really gaining power as far as each day is stronger as far as it helps you than the last. Because as your ex starts to realize that this could be a mistake, that they could want you back, they're missing you, they're curious about you. I have a video called Stages Your Ex Goes Through During No Contact. And as your ex goes through those stages and concern is collecting like a rolling ball, that's when each day your ex realizes it is more and more likely that you will move on and that they will lose you, that they could want you back, but not be able to get you back. And so that's when you're in a position where things can go really well for you. But, and this is where 
It is crucial that you stay focused, that you keep to the plan, because if you basically end up being further ahead than them, you seem more interested in you two getting back together than they do, it has an erasing effect on all that they've gone through. It's sort of like if you are more invested, more interested in getting back together, and more excited about this than they are, it's sort of like a sigh of relief for them because they can actually go back to a fake breakup. And it has this way of telling them all of that concern was silliness. It wasn't necessary because they're not strong enough. They won't move on. They can't be lost. And so your ex can just keep doing whatever they want to do without concern that they could get too far, that you could move on from them. And what's not realistic about that is that I haven't met anyone who could not move on, at least to large degree. But your ex isn't thinking that way. Most of the people, when they break up with someone, have this idea that since they broke up with you, since they are on this level above you, on the attractiveness totem pole, that they could get you back whenever they wanted to because they're the ones who broke up with you. They made the decision. And that basically, at least as far as they feel, as far as they're concerned, they could just get you back whenever they wanted you. You're just available. You are a backup option permanently. And it's fascinating how so many people, after they have broken up with someone, when they're asked, they will admit that, that, yeah, it does feel that way. And I haven't really thought about it. They don't start thinking about those things until you are gone and your absence is deafening as far as you are not reaching out. It's obvious. And your ex realizes you can stay away. That's sort of the first crack in the armor. They realize you can stay away and they start to expand on that. And so when they reach out to you, because they have experienced the concern and have had to come face to face with the idea that they could lose you. In other words, they could want you back having changed their minds about the breakup and you could not be gotten back because you've moved on either with someone else or just simply emotionally. And that's when they have to actually experience the real breakup. They have to actually experience the consequences of their actions. And if you have allowed no contact to make you stronger, and so many of you in the comments on my YouTube channel will talk about how much stronger you become after days and weeks pass of no contact where you are refusing to reach out to this person even when you want to. You are passing the test. You're pushing through those moments of weakness. You're telling yourself, I can just wait today. I can make it one more day like I have mentioned in other videos. And please take a moment and click subscribe so that you can be notified when I have new videos. I will also link to my emergency breakup kit in the description below so that you can learn about my guide on getting your ex back and just how powerful it is. So take a look in the description below for that. But at that point, that's when your ex is most likely to reach out. And when they do, the situation, the circumstances, the environment, needs to be good, needs to be right in order for you to be able to get them back and to be with them long term. And what we want to have happened is that no contact made you stronger. And so when you are around your ex, you are in a stronger position, which is very attractive. And it's now that you have the control and your ex is basically at your mercy. And I'm not telling you that that's how it should always be, but at least in that moment, that's how we want it to seem and feel to your ex that you are the one in the position of power. And what really needs to happen at this point is that you move slowly, more slowly than your ex wants things to go. Because what they want you to do, your ex wants you to alleviate any concern that they have about getting back together with you, that it's a piece of cake, that it's easy. Because your ex wants to know that all this worries for nothing, that they don't have to be concerned about it because in some ways, it just simply dismisses all the concern that they had. And that's where it's important that you cannot give them that. So you have to move slower than they are wanting to at that moment. And so that's where, especially in my emergency breakup kit, I talk about kind of how you can say things that are subtle, that show that you're not in a hurry, that show that you're one step behind them. But it's sort of like if they say that they want to get back together, instead of just saying, yes, absolutely, you could say something like, I'm open to that. Let's just take it one day at a time. Or you could say something like, things will work out like they should. Things like that, that basically don't show desperation, shows you're calm and you're willing to just let things 
naturally and organically happen instead of trying to force them. And that's a really powerful thing as far as just making sure that you keep your ex realizing your strength, what they could have lost, your value, those kinds of things. And it will help get past this hump of getting back together because your ex feels like they are earning you back, that they're having to move forward slowly and that the mistake that they made where they almost lost you is something that they are having to still experience some consequences from. And that's very important because again, it reestablishes your value because we tend to value things we work for, we pay for, that we have something invested in. When things are free, when they're easy, we don't tend to value them as much. And yes, I understand that you don't want to just be with this person because you move slowly so that they valued you. You want them to value you for you. And I get that. But at the moment, you see your ex is recovering from this. They've been confused. They're reflecting. And you're basically helping them see reality is what you're doing. Because there's a bit of a separation from reality that your ex experiences when they break up with you. Because like I've already said, they assume they could get back together with you at any time. They usually don't really realize what they've done. They have an incorrect view of the relationship because it's based on them looking at it through feeling less attracted to you based on things that have happened that usually could have been resolved. And so getting them to the point where they're looking at things in a more realistic way and how things actually are is going to help as you actually have to do the work of putting this back together. And if your ex ever does come in the situation again, they have learned something and they can reflect back and say, you know, this has happened before and I didn't like when I was away from them. We worked on this, we got back together and we can do it again. And that's what you want to get. You don't just want to have all this pain for nothing. You don't just want to have to have gone through this breakup for nothing. You want to have something that both of you can keep. So this doesn't happen again. And then there needs to come that moment when you and your ex both, realize you two are back together and it's even better than before and it's something that both of you value and you have both learned a lesson and so that's a key is that you both get to that point together and it's not just that one of you is wanting it more than the other because that will not work so i talk about a lot of this in my emergency breakup kit and you can get more information on that at myxbackcoach.com and in the link in the description below this has been coach lee and as always thank you for watching